a whole movement I wrote imagining us meeting again and again in different lives, in different ages. We all play six roles. Sometimes we're, like, I'm the hotel manager. <laughs> you know, that's one of my roles. But key scene, it's a type of fun that you don't get to have in movies. Selfishly, it's ridiculous amounts of fun. Professionally, it's a ridiculous amount of work. <laughs> <laughs> the idea of making a movie where one person got to play four, five, sometimes six different characters really excited me. How does it feel? There's just so much going on in this film. You've got actors playing different characters. Some in prosthetics, some men are playing women, some women are playing different nationality, or men are playing different nationality. It's all completely, completely crazy. It seems almost completely impossible. So I really hope that everybody is prepared for the challenge. When I got the call saying, there are two more characters they want you to play, I just couldn't imagine in my wildest dream, what other two women could I possibly play? And then I found out, no, one is a man. <laughs> and then one is a Jewish German woman. And I thought, wow, I never would have thought those would have been characters offered to me. So I just got more and more excited as the days went on. Cut. The fact that someone is offering me the part of a 23rd century cannibal chief, uh, for that reason alone, I'm doing this job. There was very little throat slitting in Sense and Sensibility, I remember. I always felt there should have been more. It's been amazing to show up day after day and see the other cast members in the makeup trailer and sometimes having conversations with people and then realizing, like, two minutes in, oh, my God, Hugh Grant, I had no idea that was you. Or, oh, my God, Duna, you're a Mexican lady today. I don't understand. I know you. The way it impacts the work that we did as an actor it is, is it instantaneously, I found, put us in a direction for the voices, for the physicality of it. You cannot dress up as Dr. Henry Goose and not talk like Henry Goose and sound like him. Seriously, I would put on nose and chin and whatever else they asked me to do just to be part of the whole trip of it. The challenge was to sort of set aside your ego in a way. Everyone's having to deal with sort of um, serving something that's bigger than, than you. Stay close, Republicans get snatched. Cinema is about performance, obviously. That's what's so exciting about the job, because it's really relishing um, what actors can bring to the roles, and it makes complete sense in the nature of the novel. This was really something groundbreaking in my career, to be able to transcend who I really am and be in the body of someone else of a different time and ethnic group and space. Can't even believe I agreed to do this. Whatever you do, don't look back. This whole movie is an actor's dream, not only to play with different characters, which is wonderful. I am General Ankur Apis. But also to play with such a wonderful group of actors. They want the explosion the chaos and carnage. There are various star vehicles where the leading actor has played several parts, but where the whole sort of raft of actors will be playing a raft of characters is quite unique. Actually, it's hard to think of any film that's done it at all. All of our roles are like the pearl necklace for each one of us. Every one of them is connected somehow. By having actors play multiple parts, suddenly you actually get to see the subtle little things an actor can do to change the meaning of a performance so profoundly. It's been a once-in-a-lifetime filmmaking experience. It's beautiful. It's always going to be special, and I'm going to always remember the experience and everything I, I got from it and all the lessons. Yes, that makes two of us. Nobody just comes on as a version of that is familiar of them. We've all been turned into, into six other actors that we will now have to compete with for jobs in the future, <laughs> competing with myself.